So in the last lesson, we talked about how to create a full page, uh, perfect background like this, and now it looks stunning. But this content right here, we need to center this uh, to make it a little bit better. So let's work on it in this lesson. So let's hop back into line text. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some more styling to the prof box. So the prof box is this black box right here. So we're going to add some more styling here. So what we can do is margin zero auto, okay? I save the page and boom, I refresh it and now it's centered. So this margin zero auto, this is, uh, you'll be using this a lot. So whenever you want to center some elements, you can use this margin zero auto trick and it will uh, basically center the element for you. So now it's centered. Now what we need to do is let's move this box over here. Whoops. Let's move this black box a little bit more down. So what we can do then is we can say margin top and then we're going to say 140 pixels maybe. And now it looks like this. So uh, a frequent question, a common question is what's the difference between padding and margin? So it's kind of easy. Uh, padding basically is this green uh, section right here. So it's the, it's basically the space between the content, right? This blue part and this, uh, the border. So padding is the space between the border and the content. And margin is the orange part. So it's the space between the border and the outside element. So in this case, it's this orange space all around here. Okay, so by adding margin top 140 pixels, um, so this top part over here, this is 140 pixels. So we move down the element by 140 pixels. Okay, 